Carly, and you guys are going to love her. Start clapping now for Carly Ballerini. <laughs> Good uh, <laughs> is it, uh, and you know about it is that uh, that also sucks. <laughs> Say that. Um, <laughs> hello, my name is Carly. How are you guys doing? Um, I uh, am in therapy. I'm clapping if you guys are in therapy. Everybody's in therapy. You don't have to clap. We're all in therapy. That's great. Uh, <laughs> it's funny. Like um, so the last couple of years, I think like collectively, like as a unit. We've all, we're all in therapy, we've all been in therapy for like three years, yeah? Like everybody kind of started going to therapy mm, around three years ago, um, and it's cute, it's very cute. Like a lot of my friends, uh, they're, they're in therapy and they keep using therapy terms wrong. Uh, I feel like that's like a, like a very, because like when you first start therapy, you're like, I fucking know everything. Uh, and so like now, and now it's like with TikTok, everybody's like a, what is it, like a, a gaslighting narcissist or whatever? Uh, that's like the big, everybody does that. Um, <laughs> you know about that? Uh, <laughs> um, my, well, so everybody keeps thinking that everybody's gaslighting them. Um, and I think that that's so, my friend came up to me um, the other day and she was like, Craig is gaslighting me. And I, gaslighting is like, a big deal. That's like a thing that happens over like a series of like months or years. So I was like, oh my God, that's awful. Like what happened? And she was like, well, I'm pretty sure that he's sleeping with Tina. Okay. And I asked him about it. And then he was like, I'm not. And I was like, oh, <laughs> that is just bad lying. Right? <laughs> uh, you have to be like, unfortunately, you have to be very smart to be a gaslighter. Um, you have to like do it over a really long time. The, uh, the way that that would be gaslighting is if Craig, okay, um, if, if she went up to Craig and she was like, you are sleeping or with Tina, and then he, over the course of months or years, made her feel like she wasn't Italian. <laughs> <laughs> that is gaslighting. Yeah. Uh, I just have been in therapy for, so I've been in therapy for like 20 years because my mom met my dad in a mental institution. Uh, yeah, I know. And neither are doctors. So. <laughs> uh, we just went straight to therapy. Uh, it's funny, like we were the we were the bad family, like on our block. Did, did anybody does anybody know the bad family? Oh! <laughs> Amazing! How did you know? How did you know you were the bad family? Everyone else is doing better. Uh, well, that was boring. Uh, <laughs> we knew we were the bad family. Um, Here's, okay, we, I know that we were the bad family for multiple reasons, but mostly we were the nude family. Um, <laughs> just like naked and running around. Um, my little brother would constantly get caught uh, like in the neighbor's strawberries, and then he would be returned <laughs> with a little strawberry wiener to, uh, to my mom, who was also naked, um, and uh, she'd always be pissed about it. I know that we were the worst family because the family that I was jealous of had an indoor outdoor raccoon. <laughs> <laughs> so that's like where we were. Um, <laughs> in the thing. Um, I was talking about uh, the concept of like having a safe adult in the home. Um, I don't know if anybody knows what that means. Um, uh, maybe the bad family. Uh, <laughs> but like having a safe adult. So a safe adult is like a, I don't know, like a sitcom mom, right? Maybe one of all of your moms. Uh, <laughs> and then an unsafe adult is my mom. Yeah? Uh, like a crazy, like, uh, like Breaking Bad, okay? Uh, so I was like, talking to my friend, and I was like, uh, so did you have like a safe adult in your in that, in that the home? And he was like, ah, uh, maybe. Yeah, I think, I think so. And I was like, okay, well, who was your safe adult? He was like, I don't know, like, Jesus? <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, um, there are no rules, uh, but Jesus can't be your safe adult. <laughs> I was like, do you mean 
this guy? And he was like, yeah. And I was like, you, that, he is bleeding, right? Uh, <laughs> uh, you can't have, uh, also, you can't have, G Jesus is having the worst day. Uh, you can't go up to that guy and be like, when mom and dad fight, it makes me sad. That guy, not with Jesus' day, you know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, get out of here. Um, yeah. Um, I, I was wondering, I was thinking about it. I didn't have many, I didn't, my mom, uh, after she went, after, you know, the mental institution, she uh, went to clown college, um, and then she didn't really keep a good clown company. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I was trying to think of, like, a safe adult, and I couldn't think of one, but I was like, I think it was just, like, my, I had, like, a dog named Smokey, um, and he was a little Shih Tzu, and a gentleman. And I feel like <laughs> that was my safe adult. Uh, and that's very sad, the thing that I just said, but it's so much better than Jesus. I'm more grateful for I, um, okay, I am, uh, I think, a bad driver. Um, is anybody here? <laughs> is anybody here a bad driver? Does anyone want to admit it? Yeah. Okay. Who who said it? Well, fuck you guys. <laughs> you're a bad driver. You're okay. Well, how do you know that you're a bad driver? I just recently got the uh, drive safe on um, State Farm. And, like, <laughs> what is it? Like, I, point situation. Wait, what is this? State Farm. <laughs> You put a beacon in your car and it tracks your driving and it gives you stats on your braking. Your, your braking, your corn ring. Is this like a DUI? Did you just get a DUI? <laughs> Thank God, no. But uh, it was uh, a, a hopeless attempt to lower my uh, insurance rates. So they're tracking your car? Correct. Yes. Oh, okay. Um, uh... My braking apparently is. So far. Oh, you're right. <laughs> so you know that you're a bad driver because you I have break... an app that tells me I'm a bad driver. You have an app that tells you that you're a bad driver. <laughs> that was uh, too long of uh, <laughs> the thing that you just said to me. Um, it's amazing. Are you a straight guy right now? Yes. Oh my god, give it up for this guy. Yeah! Did you know that you're the first straight guy? So whenever I ask that question, women everywhere, or like, you know, like the queers, will raise their hand, they'll hoop and holler, and I will say, how do you know you're a bad driver? And they'll be like, I back up on the highway. I killed a woman. Uh, ne never once has a, a straight man looked at me. Uh, they all are amazing drivers, except for you. Uh, that's crazy. Um, awesome. Thank you so much. Um, I also am a bad driver. The way that I know that I am a bad driver, um, well, when I went to take the driving test, and I took it very late, the woman that I was taking the driving test from said, I don't know why I'm doing this. <laughs> and I said, what? And she said, I'm going to pass you. And I was like, oh my god, we are both doing such a bad job. <laughs> and then I drove away. Uh, but I know that I'm a bad driver because I eat in the car. Um, but I don't eat, like, cute things. I don't eat fast food. Um, I eat crazy shit in the car. Like one time I tried to peel a grapefruit. Um, <laughs> the other day I had a come to Jesus moment when I was, uh, um, I almost killed three people and um, it's because I was eating a corn on the cob while making a left. <laughs> uh, and then I had a real scare and I kept eating that corn on the cob. And I was like, I'm bad at this. Uh, uh, but yeah, I, um, I know that I'm a bad driver, um, but it is, it's like a thing where I just feel like it's so much better than being a bad biker, uh, because when you're, <laughs> when you're a bad, I saw a kid run into a car the other day, and then he was just like, shit, sorry, and then <laughs> drove away, and there was a huge dent in the car, and I was like, <laughs> I was like, Oh, you just get away. So I guess it's better. Honestly, who knows? I have to end this show. Okay, I'll see you guys. Come on. <laughs>